Welcome to episode 80 of The Bracket. Today, we are doing a bracket of the best things about summer. We've had a lot of negativity lately. It feels nice to get a best one under our belt. Uh, we'll have no KB today, but KB, look. One of those days. Good start. Good start. A great good start. We got Glenny Balls and we got uh, Rudy in today. KB will not be attending as, uh, what did he have, a funeral? Yeah. No, it's a, uh, he has an insurance thing. Insurance thing. Yeah. That sounds way better. What the fuck an insurance thing? What he says that, that every time he doesn't want to do something. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, the last time we wanted to hang out with him, what did he say? He's like, I got a lesson right now. And we're like, what? And he's like, oh, Duolingo. Yeah, Duolingo. Put the f- just lock He wasn't lying. He was sending me pictures of it. Yeah, he was dead serious about it. Yeah. Lessons. Uh, but anyway, we got a lot of really good options today. Cause, and this is one where, like, when I started, I was like, oh, it's a dumb easy. Like, the more we were coming up with this, and you said this too, Tommy, there's a lot of great things about summer. Summer's awesome. I was just like spent a, an hour thinking of things, and I was like, it just got me so excited for summer, so amped. Uh, summer's great. Yeah, and we got. I feel like Glenny Ball is the king of summer. King. Yeah, I mean, summer's not only great; it's quite literally the best. There's only four seasons, and it's the best season, so it's mm. the best. It's definitely the best. Mm. And Rudy's just like, I feel like if you're a hot guy, summer works well for you, right? For is Rudy still hot? Is Ru- Where'd he go? Where's? Why did you just address he's gonna get away with Rudy like he's, he's hot? He's supposed to be here. Yeah, he's supposed to be right there. I referenced it. It's like a ghost representation of him. The podcast. <laughs> okay, I listeners. thought you like addressed him. <laughs> he thought he was in the room. And they're like, yeah, Rudy, it's great for you because you're hot. And I was like, I thought you thought he was Rudy. In the, yeah. Uh, there he is. Yeah, it's probably um, pretty cool to be hot on the beach. Yeah, right. that'd be awesome. You know what I do every year? I count the days from Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend. Oh, that like, seems depressing. No, it's great. It's like it's 99 days. So it's like, all right, I, this year it's 99. I would 99 days to make summer really exciting and fun and awesome. Because summer is my favorite season as well. I'll be honest. I, th- off the top of my head, I would have guessed more than 99. Mm. But whatever. Because it's 104 days of summer. That's the Phineas and Ferb. So. Who comes along just mm. to end it? It's the yeah. annual problem. 99. So we have I can imagine you at the beach. Me? Yeah. I, I, what I do is I- First on shirt. Sometimes depends. Okay. Definitely seem like a shirt guy. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I'll go back and forth, see how I feel. But like, if I, I if I go in the water, I'll, I'll take the shirt off because I don't like wet clothes. But I'll read a book. If I get hot, I run in the water. I fight the waves. You know, I pretend I'm fighting them, and then I go back and I sit down and read more book, and then I fight more waves. It's awesome, my guy. It's why the best. Yeah, best. it's the best. Exactly. Uh, our first match of the day, very simple one. The number five seed, just the pool. Getting to go in the pool. That's one of the highlights of every summer. And maybe not necessarily applies to everyone. I would, in my head, I'm imagining an in-ground pool because I never had an in-ground pool. But in-ground pools were significantly better than the above-ground pools. I had one friend with an in-ground pool, Jordan West. Yeah. Same kid that put a fish in a DVD player. Yeah, I think when we're, <laughs> yeah. I think when we're doing this, we should all be envisioning our rich friend's pool. Exactly, yeah. This it's rich all rich friend pool. activities that yeah, are involved That's doctor, yeah. 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 Um, and that's going up against the number 12 seed. You had this one, Tommy. Um, blockbuster movies, which I, I paused on a second for, but you're right. Like, all the best movies... Yeah. Or summer, summer blockbusters. That's a thing, yeah. I stopped, but I was like, movies indoors, is that summary? But like, Something about are, the AC of a movie theater yeah. that does feel really good on a completely day. dead on there. So you go first, Tommy. Pool versus blockbuster movies. Uh, it's pool. I mean, the, you know, summer blockbuster is nice, but pool, I go back. I, I think I would say I'm team pool if we're doing pool versus beach. I like team pool, too. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, you're team pool over beach? Yeah, I think beach is more special though. Yeah, I kind of agree, but something at the beach, it's more private. Like you don't have to worry about your body. You know, I'm not talking about a, a communal pool, obviously. Like you know, your yeah. friends' pool, a vacation house pool. It's the people you want that are there. Going into the water is less of an event. You don't have to worry about the waves or like you're just getting into a pool. It's going to pretty much be a good temperature. You could drink easy more easily in a pool than in a in an ocean. Um, getting to the beach and forgetting something. Mm. Yeah, you just like, go inside. If it's yeah, you just pool. go inside. You got to pee. You just go inside. You don't gonna be like, oh, I'm gonna eh. trek to the water. I'm gonna trek. I'm gonna pee in the ocean. Drinks easier to. Dr- so yeah, I'm going pool. Do you not great. pee in the ocean? I I struggle. If I have shy pee, so I've been in the ocean. The ocean. Oh yeah, I'm worried about I, can, I need total silence. What are you worried about? The kanduru fish, fish that swims that up the urethra, swims up your pee yeah. hole, and kills yeah. you. That's in the Amazon. I mean, I don't take my dick out if I'm peeing in the ocean. No. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> right. So, no one was assuming you did that. <laughs> well, so I'm saying, like, it, it, there's no difference than if you're peeing or not for yeah. in terms of. I don't. That's so gross. Fish. Peeing, because then you're peeing in your bathing suit. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. I like to it's avoid in, it. It's underwater. It doesn't matter. It's still peeing. You're still peeing directly down to the ground. Wait, when you pee in the, in the ocean, you pull your dick out? No, I don't pee in the ocean. I pee in a bathroom. I don't pee in the shower either. That's gross. Peeing is gross. You pee in a toilet or a urinal. That's it. You know what I started doing like 10 years ago because uh, somebody said it would be funny and then I just kept doing it 
is you just piss your pants right at the edge of the waves and then you just walk in the ocean. <laughs> that sounds so gross. Boy, but now I want to try. Lately, piss your pants. Uh, now I kind of want to try it. That's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to try it now. Uh, Nick, were any of you guys kids that had pools? I had an above ground pool. I had an above ground pool. I had shitty. a blow up pool. Okay. <laughs> I had a blow up pool for a little bit. Above ground pools, those. Those did you have a deck around it or was it just sitting above? I was just sitting there in a big dirt patch. That's a little bit tough. <laughs> That's a little bit tough. You're trapped. Ah. So it's pool versus movie theater? Uh pool versus blockbuster movies, yeah. Oh, this is fucking pool. Mm. Cuz you there are still movies in the summer. I mean, in the winter. Yeah, I think specifically the feeling of going into the pool when you're like you did some sort of activity outdoor activities with your friends, right? You go play wiffle ball, whatever, and then you go run in the pool after. Oh. It's just a it's an unbelievable feeling. Glenny? Yeah, I mean, I'm a pretty simple guy. There's not there's not many things that excite me. I'm easily excitable. By the time I'm 40, like, get my finally, you know, when they call forever home, my only thing I want is there to be a pool there. I want there to be a pool. I'm a pool guy through and through. I love pools. You want somebody to share your bed with? Sure, but I care more about a pool. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to have, like, a real pool. When I, when I retire, I just want to have an in-ground pool. In ground pool. It's a lot nice of work. In ground though. pool. That's the one part that sucks. Like I want one with like where the shape, square, bean, oval. Um, oval. Yeah. I want, I want one that turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My rich friend now has like a like a seat in the pool. Name drop it. What? Name drop the friend. Mm -hmm. it's my Country friend, music my friend singer Jonathan. No, he's. Oh, okay. No, he's What's his last? What does he work at? It's Maria's ex, actually. If we're being straight here. But um. Word. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it's a great. That guy's a built-in seat. Mm. Like, I, I want a built-in seat. My uh, my first like a handicap thing, like a step. It almost looks like it could be a handicap seat. But it's not. <laughs> is it is it like a step that you can get out, or is it made for an ass? Oh, it's made for an ass. Oh, so. whoa. Yeah, like I, if I want, I just want to ball out of my pool. I want to have like like the bar in the Playboy Mansion, like the grotto. I want to yeah. have yeah. grotto. Oh, that'd be yeah. so cool. So I'm, I mean, I, I just I'm obsessed with pools. It's pool by a billion. My first girlfriend was mega rich, and she had a pool. I think it was like a sailing pool or something, but like they didn't need to use chlorine. What's a saltwater pool? It's something, but it wasn't like actual salt water. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was regular water. They just didn't need to use chlorine in it. And yeah. then they also had a hot tub that was attached to it. Mm -hmm. it was so fucking cool. I think That's about it all the time. This rich girl. <laughs> Do you think about your ex-girlfriend all no, the time? Not her. <laughs> just that. Just that Although, one thing. Yeah. Yeah, that was rough. Uh, Steve. I like pools. I like the beach too, but I really love summer blockbusters and going to movies. So cool. So hot outside. Really nice, cool, refreshing AC. Your popcorn. You gotta just tune out. Uh, get in the movie. Movie climber. Yeah, I, I, this is my first year having a pool at my residence. Now it's a communal pool. It's a the whole apartment complex can use the pool, but I've never had a pool at my residence before. But honestly, like I'm more excited about the Flash coming out in like a couple weeks. <laughs> Flash looks awesome. Because yeah, yeah. they brought Michael Keaton's old ass back. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of that for me. So uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm leaning toward blockbuster movies, but my answer might be different next year after I experience a year of the pool. My richest friend in, when I was growing up had an L-shaped pool. That was Ooh. awesome. Because like one part was like the kind of the kiddies, you know, three or four feet. But then the other part of the L was like the deep and that was, that, I don't know, that was like an awesome pool. Built in, the whole thing, whole backyard, the whole setup. It's yeah. the best. They had but built-in pools back then? They did. Yeah, it was the first one. Yeah. <laughs> it was like you a, fucking son of a bitch. Hell, it was called, they called it a, a moat back then. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was to keep out the Huns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had the circular pool around a castle. It was yeah, so it's a big, sick. big circular indoor. It was awesome. Pool. Yeah, yeah. You had the deep it. end. You had it all. Yeah. You had the president. I'm, and Jack, does your girlfriend ever get mad when you call her Hun? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, yet. Let's see. Uh Rudy. Uh, I think I'm going to be in the minority on this one. I like pools. They're cool, but I'm way bigger ocean guy. I think the salt water is just leaps and bounds better. I like having like the, the force of nature, like a pool. I don't know. I just don't feel that good after they're fun. I'll never say no, but, uh, and I love movie theaters. Like I just love going to the movies. I love the whole, you probably always get jerked off. No, well, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, I'll be tight. What was I, that? What was that stray well? In? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Well, no, no, no. I was just sort of digging back in my memory Not files. Always, but um, I I love movie theaters and I like uh, the beach. I like salt water much better. You come out, your hair feels good, your skin feels better. Chlorine just like kills you i don't know it's just it's not like it shrinks you yeah i don't know i don't like it as much so i'm, I'm gonna go movie theaters just because i love going to a movie sitting down and just watching some so yeah <laughs> one of the first times i did like a big indoor pool at a hotel me and my buddies we were visiting a friend that goes to maryland we're staying in a silver springs hotel we're ripped drunk 
And I would, you know how like you try and like, you guys are just under a pool, like you try and go back and forth underwater. Yeah. yeah. I tried to do that and I was just fucking ripped. I came up in the middle of a circle family. Like they were like, <laughs> circle, all talking with each other. And I came up dead center. <laughs> oh, that's, that's and so I was uncomfortable. like, oh, fucking my bad. And just walked out or just swam out of it. Wait, I do have one question though. Do you guys uh, do compression shorts? Yes. When you, uh, mean? like you wear something underneath your bathing suit? No. no. Oh. oh, I do compression shorts. I do. Underneath. I always do compression. Sometimes if I don't have them, I'll, I'll go raw i guess we just exposed ourselves as yeah. giant dicked men <laughs> oh i get scared i'm just gonna get Aww. a boner there's just no there's no cover-up if you get a boner oh i don't think the pool is a good spot for a boner at all oh it's a terrible spot that's well, no no i just don't even think it's boner friendly like uh, I, I, it's it's cold it's I, i'm not i'm not even close to hard at a pool oh yeah. like barely clothed chicks yeah. yeah yeah i just Ugh. it's like a fear of mine i always have i guess i was just curious same fear at the beach too just in a bathing suit in general, I just get scared that I'm just going to get a spontaneous boner. And then yeah, do, just, just do no you have coverage. someone tucking their boner into their bathing suit? Yeah. <laughs> just, <laughs> it's just the head. Uh, wow. It's just a little piece of bone <laughs> underneath your... Yeah. Didn't that happen to somebody here? Like they had a classmate that... My boy Logan Seidler. Okay. Google him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, uh, he went up to present and he tucked his boner in, but we had uh, uniforms and he had a shirt tucked in so you just saw his, his dickhead. <laughs> uh, so we're tied up, right? Three to three. Yeah. Um, I feel like... I should vote for the blockbusters, but I feel like the pool is more of the epitome of like summer. Thought you're so, a movie guy. I, like I said, man, I gotta go. With the pool, the pool is summer. Like you know what I mean? It is undeniable. Yeah. yeah. Do movies perform better in theaters in the summer, or at least the ones that you want to make a shit ton of money in the summer. Okay. Um, hey, also, at the end of the day, picture this: you're out. A, you're at a hot summer day. You're out just roaming around town. You're sweaty. What would you rather do? Air conditioner at the theater uh, or pool? Cannonball into a pool. Pool. Yeah. Uh, the next matchup is the four seed versus the 13. The four seed, very simple. Another one, barbecue, outdoor barbecues oh. in the summer. One of the best activities. This is one where we were talking about like just how great summer is. That's one where like that's it zeroes into my Smell. head. Smell. Yeah. Ugh. The charcoal or propane, whatever going. Best. And that's going up against number 13 from Clemmer. Um, not feeling as guilty about relaxing vacations or relaxing slash vacation. Yeah. 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 It's like taking time off or just like, or just, I don't know, not like sometimes i'll be at my house like i have all these errands to do it's like you know what fuck it, it's the summer like mm -hmm. just that fuck it, it's the summer attitude that you can have really until labor day i feel like it's kind of honest something it's not like actually that. vacation it's just it can be like I'm, t I'm taking like right you know the office is closed july 4th week so i'm taking a vacation that week so i guess that's not that exciting but like we're taking a couple three-day vacations that i probably i don't know that i'm more likely to take in the summer than not yeah like so you're saying if it's in the winter and you take your vacation days it's not as you're not you're, you're covered with more guilt because everyone yes. else is continuing their work whereas in summer everyone else is more lax i just yeah i feel like there's a uh, general attitude of just like relaxation and like uh, like attitude like a lot like i said a lax attitude that you can get away with more stuff or you can just like just chill out a bit more yeah, you'd fuck with europe heavy yeah 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 right mm -hmm. it sure. is weird though like I feel like we're so conditioned to be like, oh, summer, that's when we take our vacations, basically just from childhood, because that's when you're off. But as adults now, there's really no reason we can't take a vacation in like October. We should take vacations in the winter instead. Right. Oh, like it would make way not more for this job. Sense. Usually, you usually go. No, I'm somewhere. not saying this. I'm just saying in general, uh, adults yeah. in general, like you would think it would make more sense to take a vacation when it's cold in December instead of when it's already yeah. nice. Yeah, it makes more sense to take a vacation to Florida in January. Yes. Than right. I think a lot of it is still tied, though, to like your kids are out of school. Mm -hmm. Right. But I'm, yeah, for for our phase of life. I'll Usually do something that. for Yom Kippur, right? <laughs> yeah, Yom Kippur. Well, I fast. Okay, you fast. That's right. Yeah. Um, okay, so Rudy, you're up first. Barbecue versus not feeling guilty about relaxing or vacation or just like Clemmer said, the fuck it attitude. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I'm so bad at vacationing. I never feel good vacationing like i always feel that guilt mm. i just don't relax very well uh so I, I don't really like that but that's sort of an indictment of myself like i would want that feeling so and then barbecues i don't know man i don't i think i'm bad at summer dude like i i hate like sitting there with like the plate on your knees weird and the like table bro <laughs> i do the meek mill french fries on my lap yeah uh, french fries on the lap at the pool um I guess I'm going to go with the barbecue. I like the vibes. I like if it's like, you know, the sun's going down a little bit, uh, like um, like an egg salad or like a uh, potato <laughs> salad. Egg that salad. shit goes hard with some ribs. So, yeah, I guess I'll go barbecue. I like barbecues. I fuck with them. Barbecue? Even just a, 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 a way too well done charcoal burger. I want that yes. shit crumbling. Yeah, I want it with the hot dog. Yeah, yeah. shitty, yeah. shitty, sh like a shitty just like burger. Like not yeah. good at all. Like shitty Humble burger, man. And you have so much more space to eat for some reason. Yeah. yeah. It's like you're all, you could eat one more. Mm -hmm. Sure. 100%. Yeah, I'll go barbecue. 
Barbecue, Clemmer? Yeah, I hate this going up against mine, but I got to go barbecue. What's better than like walk around the summer in your neighborhood? It's not even your barbecue and you just have those smells hit you. Yeah. And it's just, and then when you, you know, when you're grilling, you got the hot dogs going, you got the burgers. I don't pretend like I'm some great chef, but on a grill, it almost always comes out good. Yeah. And it's, I was like, this is great. You're toasting the buns. You got the, you bring in all the condiments from outside. You put them down. It's just awesome. The whole thing is you get excited. Woo. I'm all in. I love to like I'm pick condiments. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you they're, they're, they're cold and they're they're in your yeah. hand. It's usually a hot day. You put them on the table. It's like all right, I got some mustard. I got some. Ketchup. I'm picturing. Let's go. I'm picturing Tony Clemmer. Bourdain over here. Yeah. Jesus good, right? Christ. It's I'm good stuff. Clemmer like walking around like the island he lives on with like a forty ounce, and then like Timbaland's on. He's like, dude, we got a block party going on. Oh my goodness. Barbecue. Yeah. 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 No, it's a lot of me. Like I'll slice the onions, you know, and I'll get yeah. the onions. Uh, we have and, and and you know you said you got the tongs for the hot dog. It's great. It's all good. Barbecues, the best. He fucks with the tongs. <laughs> Big barbecue guy. Uh, Jay. I can't grill myself personally, but I do enjoy attending barbecue. How can you not grill yourself? You, it's the easiest thing in the I world. I can grill, yeah. Steven. Uh, I had a grill that was like rusted out. Is that something charcoal or propane? That's Vietnam. Uh, it was propane. Propane's e- much easier than charcoal. I mean, it's, propane's easy. Got rid of it. Didn't know how to. Didn't know how to use it. It was taking up space. So uh, I, I enjoy. I enjoy. Make steaks like pretty routinely. I do. Yeah, I do all uh, stovetop and oven. It's so much harder. Maybe. Wow. Probably. I haven't uh, had the need to learn this new skill, but maybe one day. So even so, I, I do like the taste and the the vibes of the grill. So uh, barbecue. The sound of the cooler opening and closing. Mm. Oh, it's kind of cold ones coming out. Mm. Even that like that air that hits you when you open the cooler. If it's been sitting there a while, a little little fishing around in the ice trying. Oh to, yeah. You oh, out of there. Oh yeah. Trying to get Putting that right. away all the Bud Lights. Yeah. 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 yeah you where's my cider? You know? uh, yeah. Where's my drink that I put here? You're digging around looking for. Oh, Glenny. Uh, easy barbecue. I mean, my family's always been big barbecue people. We got Memorial Day barbecue, Labor Day barbecue every year. Great food. Maybe a surprise guest on the menu every year. Good alcohol, good music. What does that mean? What? A surprise guest on the menu. Even. Like, well, we, I'm saying we'll always do like the normal, typical hot dogs, burgers, uh, okay. sausage, and then we'll add in something different each year. Just they meant like a special guest. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Just a special guest on the menu. Darius Rucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> His brother. Pitbull came through. I wish. But no, it's just, it's always a great time. Good people, good food, good vibes, good music. There's nothing better than it. Barbecue? Hungry. Yeah, me too. Nick? And then as, like as an anxious boy, like poking holes through that plastic placemat, as, like a plastic tablecloth on the mm, on the yeah, table. Just, like, fiddling with oh, it? Oh, yeah. A lot of fun. Uh, yeah, give me barbecue. Barbecue? Tommy Smokes? Barbecue. Easy. I, uh, as, you, as everyone knows, I was recently moving, and the, the one thing I was discu- disgusted about is my old building had a barbecue downstairs in like the common area. Shut down for the summer because of uh, local law eleven, like uh, scaffolding units or whatever. Oh, wow. So I was so happy. I hope everyone has a miserable summer there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, can't grill, yeah. I forgot about. You that. have a grill at your new place? No, but not. Uh. What they've had at the old place? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they would have had one in the sister building. I would have had to walk a couple blocks down. Might as well be in fucking Eastern Europe. Yeah. Uh, the next one, eight verse nine, eight seed is the beach. Probably the most summery thing you can get. Although it's the eight seed. It oh, fell wow. because not everybody loves the beach as much as they love something like the pool. I feel like a pool, like beach is, you get people that hate the beach. There yeah. is a lot more than you might expect. Yeah, I get, I get it. Uh, it's, I understand it. I get yeah. it? Yeah. Um, and that's going up against the number nine seed, just the, the weather of the summer, which could be good or bad, but for the most part is usually good. Uh, so, Tommy. This is a bloodbath in weather. It's the be- you, you can't have the beach without the good weather. I thought the weather would have been like the one seed. I mean, mm-hmm. The well, beach could be bad. Like I, I go, in, but I even like the bad weather this summer. I love a good summer thunderstorm. You walk out in that like muggy, like right after a, a, a intense rain. Yeah, that smell. That, that that's all. I I think all the people who pretend that fall is their favorite season can fuck themselves. The summer is so clearly the best. Like just walking out and having sun. I put this on the list. I don't know if this is included, but it kind of goes into this of like walking out and not having to worry about, am I going to wear a jacket? Am I going to wear a hoodie? Just like walking out of your house and being like, what I have on is what I'm wearing is such mm-hmm. an amazing feeling. And even the the quote unquote bad weather of the summer, I appreciate a nice cool rain can can cool things down. Uh, so weather. And I, I like the beach, but again, you can't have the beach without the good weather. Good weather. Nick. Yeah. Well, summer is the reason it's summer is because of the weather. It's nice out. But, I mean, as I'm getting older, I don't like, you know, being too hot. Um, I could live. Uh, yeah, I'll go weather here. Weather. Another for weather. Glenny. I'm a beach guy. Growing up, I really wasn't that much of a beach guy. 
but in my in my since COVID, I've been a beach guy because that was really all you could do COVID summer. Yeah. I got used to it. I, frankly, I will say the ladies like the beach more than a pool. It's fun to Very go true. big group beach, big group beach day, hang out, throw the football around, bring some beverages in the red cup. And I and I personally, if there if there was a wave pool or regular pool drinking, I'd rather drink in the ocean. Mm. I'd rather drink in the ocean. Absolutely, hang out, have some waves. Beach, big time. Beach guy. What, what Long Island Beach was your beach? <sighs> Just Long Beach. But I mean, Long Island beaches suck. Yeah, that's... What? Well, it depends on the beach. Robert no, Moses sure. Beach is great. No, it's yeah, not. No, he doesn't I mean, know. Have you not gone to other beaches? I have. It, I, I have. Or Jones Beach, I feel like, is the quintessential Long Island beach. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I, the I best love beaches. I'm only 20 minutes from Long Beach. I mean, I, the, the water's green. I'd rather it be clear, like in Delray Beach. I feel like I have more space at Robert Moses than I do at like Long Beach. Where Robert, is Robert Moses too... Beach? It's right near it's, Jones uh, Beach. It's closer to like Mirai, like Suffolk. You guys are point lookout guy or maybe Lido Beach. Uh, dude, well, well, Fire well, Island beaches well, are the best beaches on Long Island. It's like it's no questions. At, Fire is, Island? Do you have the best Never beaches been. by far? It's like stepping on like powder. I mean, for time. the record, they're all the same. That's not true. Not all beaches I'm are saying it's all equal. the same water though. It's all the same coast. Well, yeah, the water, but like, the, Lido, Lido Atlantic, Lido Atlantic and Long Beach are the same. I've never been to Fire Island Beach actually. Amazing. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a I'm obviously a Florida. If you ever guy. go to North Shore Beach, it's like you're stepping on a boulder. Like, well, they don't have that. That's not really a beach. Stink. It's like a cove. There's like not... You guys have no idea how lucky you are. Before I got this job, I think I've seen the ocean eight times in my life. Be ten. Yeah. So just like going to a beach for me was like a special occasion. You couldn't just do it for like a, a day or a weekend. So it was like you go to the beach, you'd have to go and spend all day there for a week straight to get your bearings. Yeah. I don't know. To get your the, have it be worthwhile. I guess. Quota. Yeah. Your quota. Uh, speaking does, of first I get, beaches, I was there when balls first got a touch of the Pacific. Remember yeah. that? That was a fucking moment, dude. That, yeah, that was. I mean, that was a horrible day to touch the Pacific. It was like fifty nine degrees. It was gray. I've also realized the Pacific is always cold. I didn't know that. Uh huh. It's much colder. It's always yeah. cold. Yeah. That was also that was in like fucking Monterey near Pebble Beach. That was not a time to go to a big ass first I mean, time. California is like not like a beach place. It is. I mean, it just is a different style. Like we Way were right cold. near like one of the best surfing places on earth, Mavericks. Uh, yeah, and like San Francisco having a bonfire on the beach is fucking awesome. Oh yeah, dude. I've been to. Like now, I've been to like Newport Beach. Newport Beach is that place rocks. Yeah, you can see your feet. There's real fish in there. Uh huh. Bunch of surfers at, as a as let's say a a security blanket in case you get swept out to see all the surfers are out there. Newport FD Lowe's there proposing Laguna, yes. dude. Laguna Beach. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Fire me. Not up. to reignite an old debate, but I, I used to be a very anti lake person. Like I like oh, lakes are awesome. I I, I, I liked going to lakes, see, but it was like lakes for coastal beaches. versus inland. I don't yeah. have enough experience with lakes. I've never I've been, been on a, a lake in my life, and lakes seem fucking awesome. They're cool. No, they are All cool. Right. But it's, when it's there's lakes, more of a drinking culture around lakes than but when ocean it's lakes land. versus beaches, I was always like, it's no question, it's beaches. But I think we can agree that between both of us, river people. No, like no, I'm. Just, are I'm there no? People? There are people that prefer rivers. There are river us. people, but a lot of rivers, like the river I grew up next, to, you can't go in. Yeah, why well, is it like toxic waste? Too dirty. Enough. Yeah, yeah. I, river people, I don't get that. Lakes, I understand. I get it. I like lakes. They get boring. I grew up in a lake, and they get boring. I grew up in grew a up lake, in oh, a on a lake. Uh, that a lake explains town. a lot. I was talking no. about evolution. He was there at the beginning of evolution. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he came out from crawled out of the water. I grew up in a lake. Pangea split. No, no, no. Primordial. The soup. <laughs> no primordial ooze. No, no, no ooze here. Yeah. Uh, no, I grew up on a lake, uh, Bow Lake in Stratford, and uh, it, was, it was it just gets boring. I think oceans are more exciting because the waves are always menacing and you can fight them. Like I said, I like that. Of the ocean, Bow like, Lake had a one twenty five batting average, <laughs> sixty. Uh, che beach versus weather. I used to be a huge beach guy. I think being a dad kind of changes the beach experience. It's no longer like a relaxation activity. It's like a, you're bringing a bunch of shit for your kids. If you go with other people, you can't really control how long you're there. It's all about kids naps and stuff. Beach kind of like not that great anymore. Um, so I'm going to go with the weather, which is always the great weather climber. Yeah. Tommy's right. Like without, without the weather, the beach is a horrible place. Really? It's not good. So uh, you need the weather. The weather is so important. You know what the best part, the weather, best weather element of the summer? Nights. Nights in the summer, yeah. Oh my yeah. God, it's the yeah. best. You walk out, it's yeah. that like it's a refreshing, it's, it feels so good. Especially in New York, you can just like walk forever. It's just so much fun just to like walk around in the summer. I love it. It's the weather. I mean, as much as I love beaches, like the weather is everything. The summer. You know how the weather loses. 
I saw a tweet recently. This girl was like, "Does anyone else get a special kind of sad in the summer between uh, five p.m. Yes, that and was so p.m. Funny. at night?" Like, shut the fuck up. Are you, are you people ever happy? Never like, that's happy. the best time. It's the, like, the literally best. the best time of the year. Yeah. Yes, the best time of life. Oh, there's a special <laughs> sad when it's fucking seventy-five degrees and beautiful out. It's sunny. Like, yeah. The worst human. I laughed out loud when I saw that. That was a great tweet, Tommy. Uh, not to guess you up too much. Right? Yes. Pretty. Uh, I love the beach. I can't get enough of the beach. The weather, I mean, like, dude, and I, I hate being sweaty. When I first moved to New York, I never really dealt with humidity. Being from Colorado, it's zero percent humidity. And uh, my first summer in New York was uh fucking terrible in mm-hmm. terms of that. Like, just constantly being moist. I hate it when it's like really, really, really hot. Um, I get that that makes the beach good, but I even enjoy a bad weather beach. Like I just like being at the beach, even if it's cold, just to go look at it. I can't get enough of the beach. I love the beach. Thunderstorm at the beach is awesome. Yeah. Really cool. I just love, I love the ocean. I love the beach. So you see like the, the clips from that, that cruise ship that was like going through crazy weather the other day? No. Like they, they had like, they went, drove through like a hurricane basically. And like the people were posting clips. It looked like the scariest thing. I saw a cruise ship for the seen. first time yesterday. Those are f- Huge. massive oh they're disgust they're they, they, shockingly they're long disgu- i saw the first one in my life at, in cabo and i was like that shouldn't exist <laughs> like that shouldn't exist that shouldn't float it's bizarre seeing how big they are i want to go on one i've always come yes, on. oh of course i want to try it on I, I would like I've to go on one, one. As a, i haven't either no. i went on one as a kid i was 13 should we, should we figure out one tom yeah two months before i was 14 and you had to be 14 to do everything uh um, bag toss competition you had to be 14 what? years old <laughs> It was crazy. I'm not gonna drink. Couldn't do yeah. casino. Like I think as an adult, if you do the right one, as an adult like, with no kids, I feel like it would be better. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's. A, huh. I have to put. The, imagine a bar. Well, let's do a little. Cruise. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm all in. That'd be so much fun. That'd actually be <laughs> sick. Um, okay, so weather's gonna move on. Now we have a double play in international double waters play-in. with Trent. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know what he's up to. <laughs> I know what, exactly what we'll do. Uh, we have a double play in this time. Effort. <laughs> <laughs> well, the one seed has a play in because it was, there was too many to pick from, but they all kind of enca- encapsulated the same thing, which is it's, we're just going to call it drinking play in. It's a lot of different things involving alcohol with the summer that are great. Um, I didn't want to have to put them all in separate things, but they all should probably be around the one seed. So we'll pick one to be the one seed. The first is simple day drinking. Day drinking in the summer better than day drinking any other season. Glenny, are you just anti day drinking? No, no, no. The face he made was like he was thinking of an old lover. Mm. That one's not as summer. Like you could, I most day drinking. I most sometimes think fall. To me, if I had football too, yeah, yeah, like like tailgate, sure, yeah, something like that. Yeah, so it's not that day drinking is great, but I don't know if I would put it. It doesn't have the monopoly on summer. I don't like day drinking. More saying, I'm anti day drinking. More saying day drinking outside. Like, because if I get dr- get drunk and just go to sleep at like nine, I'm oh, so happy. So great. She groggy all day. Oh, the rest of the night, I don't like that feeling. I'm asleep. <sighs> I'm asleep I don't fall asleep that early. I'm fine. Uh, I don't day drink and then go home at six and stay up for five hours. Yeah. No, but you just like pass out and fucks up my whole sleep cycle. I don't it's know. the opposite for me. I, I wake up in the next morning and I'm fine. I'm good to go. I'm getting up yeah, like, You stay awake through the hangover. Yeah. I fall asleep at six. I wake up at 11 and I'm like, I'm kind of groggy and weird. I'm like, this fucking sucks. Uh, rooftop bars was submitted a lot oh, this yeah. summer. That is in uh, one oh, of the top. That might be too city specific. You know what I mean? Like I don't know if you live in like Bumblefuck, wherever. If rooftop bars is something that uh, I think they have really appeal. A lot of places. I'm not too keen on rooftop bars. I love. I'd rather like an open air, like ground floor, like, like a beer garden. Yeah, like a beer garden. Beer garden a rock. <sighs> oh yeah. Uh, drinking in the water. One of Glennies. Mm-hmm. I agree. Amazing activity. You ever go to Secrets in Maryland? Yes. Oh, but yeah, I've heard it's, oh yeah, I've gone to it's, Secrets. It's a such a fucking dirty place, but what it is, is it? Great. Secrets in Ocean City, Maryland. Is it a bar? Yeah, but it's yeah. in the it's on the water, so Half the waves come the up. So you're just in the water, but it's a bar. Glenn, you'd love Secrets. S e a c r e t. Many times. Yeah. yeah. There's have like tables in the is, ocean. Yeah. Those are built into this into the water, so like you can sit there with your friends in a big round table and like drink in the ocean, literally. Yeah. And like they ferry you back and forth if you live in any of the surrounding areas. And like they have like cool. all these, yeah, all these different fun. bars your within phone, the bar. Your pocket. It's only like this deep. Uh, yeah, you, there's areas that are like less than uh, where's there. Yeah, I've often talked about on one of the on only stands that I want to eventually, if I'm ever a billionaire, make a balls land. Balls land. Is, like my own like amusement land. Yeah. Oh, if we do yeah. do that, we'll definitely have the in table ocean table. Yeah. So you're only up to your ankles. That actually well, no, sounds no, no, horrible. No, there's a bunch of different. It's like, like you depth. get the. It's it's nice. Yeah, okay. the floaties are just recycled fake boobs. That's yeah, I, it, no, it's filthy. <laughs> I would, ne- I'll never go again. 
they had like a big sand dance floor with like live bands. Yeah. And they had like a more like uh, nicer tiki bar area. Then they had, they had like 20 bars in this one bar. It was crazy. Rocket Fuel's there. Remember that? Secrets oh, yeah. the beach so bars. So good. Like, whenever people mention it to me, they always say how disgusting it is. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah. It was Rocket Fuel, right? Like, if you're, like, 24 there, you're too old. Rocket Fuels yeah. are the Fire Island. It was Fire Island. It wasn't Rocket Fuels. It was, what was the drink? It was, like, red and white. It was... Oh, um... They had some famous drink there that's really good, a frozen drink. Oh, I don't know. I don't remember the name. Who do I? So I would go to Dewey. That would be the beach I would go to. Dewey, Delaware. You like Dewey Beach? Yeah. Um, Hobeth is great, too. Oh, that, yeah. That's where we'd stay. Like, my dad would ca- camp up there, and then we would just go down to Dewey for the... Tinkering and drinking in boats from Glenny also? also drinking good. on boats? Yeah. Pontoon boats. You ever been in a pontoon boat? On a pontoon once, it almost it almost sank. Oh no! I swear to God, I was fucking. Wait, are drinking on boats, drinking in water, two different things? Yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. I think they. I feel like they're separate. Enough. I was fucking smashing this pontoon boat. It was after a day on the water. We were all like hanging out on the front of the boat, and I guess I'm added weight as well. And it literally like went down into my knee, and we oh all to go. It was fucking scary. How far out were you? We were like we were in Florida. We were in like the intercoastal, going back to get off. We were in the bay, in, in the Boca Bay. A lot of sharks in there. The intercoast still going back to get off. It was fucking scary from what I remember. I barely remember it. Uh, ice cold beer, specifically. The ice cold beer in the summer is a different type of animal. Uh, and then frozen drinks, which I forget when you had this. Oh, yeah. That oh, yeah. was me. Frozen drinks. Yeah. <laughs> frozen, frozen drinks. drinks. Uh, so we'll pick one of these to be our one seed. Tommy, you go first. Uh, day drinking, rooftop bars, drinking in water, anchoring and drinking in boats, ice cold beer, frozen drinks. Fuck. Hard. Between frozen drinks, rooftop bars, and drinking in water. Cool. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna stay true to myself. I fucking love frozen drinks. Yeah. And like, I mean, can I come by? Can I say a frozen drink in the water? Like, that is, I feel like we should almost say whatever wins should just be in the water. That's almost too much. Because then you have the open open cup, like a beer yeah. in the water is. Yeah, I'll up, imagine a myself beer. at a pool, like uh there's like a lot of frozen and ace, yeah. I, Oh God! I'm I'm going frozen drinks. Stra- da- strawberry daiquiri, mm. pina colada is always my favorite in the summer. That you ever have froze? I really like froze. Mm. I hate froze. I, I like froze. is nice. Yeah. Froze is real good. Nick? Um, drinking on boats is a little bit overrated because the people like the boat patrol that that yeah. it's really easy to get a DUI on a boat. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't have any blo- any alcohol in your system if you want to use the boat, um, which is a bummer because it's just one person kind of having to be responsible um but the boat guy loves it though the boat guy, guy does love it loves being the yeah boat. that's why you do become the boat guy yeah. um you know tommy and kyle got me to come out of my shell oh. um <laughs> and get frozen drinks and i had a pina colada with you this weekend and it yeah. was fucking How awesome was that? It was so good oh my god and then just like the, the real cold cherry in there cool and cherry. fun glass um you know just be with the boys all of our lips are like kind of tinted and uh, whatever happens happens um i'll go frozen drinks frozen drinks glenny i'm a simple man like i said i i I love being in the water i love being in pools i love being in oceans and the only thing i maybe love more than that is drinking combine the two it's drinking in water drinking in water so far it's disgusting two to one in favor of frozen drinks jay had a little bit of a uh, free time with the wife yesterday. I was like, hey, oh, like, hey, what's what's something we should do? I suggested going to get some frozen drinks uh, at our local Mexican place. So uh, frozen drinks, top of the top. When the weather gets nice and hot, where it's like a little bit too hot, where you're like almost a little bit sweaty, frozen drink hits perfectly. Frozen drink. Frozen drink, clemmer. Frozen drinks are awesome. The only problem is when you get a little older, heartburn follows oh you're right or brain mm. freeze well unless you have a prescription for a heartburn medication <laughs> no well i have to carry a tums around but i i'd be lying if i said like go on vacation i gotta get a strawberry deck like it's, it's a must and it, and it feels tastes great it's awesome um the only problem with rooftop bars is they can especially here in the city they get way too crowded and then i can't move and i'm not comfortable i'm not happy so uh rooftop bar at its peak is the best but if i'm going for just down the middle frozen drinks you can just imagine Clemmer on the roof of Brass Monkey, just like, <laughs> get out of my way. Yeah, just, that is have to be real crowded for Clemmer not to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm complaining, think about how crowded these, these places are. Stop bars do get way too fucking crowded. Though. Right. Yeah. Sucks. Especially the pop, like the ones that are good anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rudy. Um, going to win, but where would you go? Yeah, no. I, I mean, I like frozen drinks. I don't love drinking in water. I don't know why. I think it's like my, I feel like my intestines are like floating. Like the whole, my, everything's like all buoyant. I don't know. It just feels, it's like confusing for my insides. Like just weird to me. Uh, but for me, it's day drinking. 
it's not going to win, obviously. But yeah, I love day drinking, especially in the summer. It feels so good. I love it. I can't get enough of day drinking. I, if I could only day drink for the rest of my life, I would do it. You could do that. Yeah, I could. <laughs> but the problem is that like I need to. I want to be with like my friends. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Fro- frozen drinks going to move on, and now for the chain game. Uh, we'll start out with some of Jay's actual ones. Uh, girls in bathing suits. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Girls in shorts. To be fair. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, Glennie said to me, I want to do girls in bathing suits, but is that too horny? <laughs> <laughs> so girl, girls in bathing suits, girls in shorts, girls in sundresses, uh, hands on ladies, tan lines on ladies, or was that one of you? I, I was, not, I was Glenny. That. Ooh. That's, okay. I like that. That was a smooth one. Uh, going to the Jersey Shore and hooking up with six, seven women. You were smart. You got ahead one. of that. <laughs> um, not having to think about what code. She only six, ever. seven? <laughs> uh, like six eights. Six, I saw her. She was six nine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Italian ices. That was a good yeah, picture. She was. Uh, bare, being barefoot in the grass. Great feel. Because a whip smokes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the smell of sunblock, which someone added, and I thought about it, but I was like, I do. Like the smell when you're at the beach is nice. Yeah. Uh, reading fantasy football magazines. Yep. Uh, cool breezes on a hot day, which I think was also yours. That is a great one. Uh, so, Rudy, you go first. Which one of those stood out the most? Like girls in bathing suits? Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Move it on, dude. Are you kidding me? It's awesome. There's the ones where it's like the waistline goes up over the hip kind of. You oh, know yeah. What yeah high oh, yeah, brother. Thing. Yeah, we know what's talking about. What the fuck was it t- Haiti style Nikki Heaton Nikki Heaton is one of the yeah got, what is she up to knows what I'm talking she about. has a kid oh. trying to be like a mommy influencer now. Uh, I don't do anything now she lives on like a ranch mommy. still hot as hell just raising her kids yeah oh. yeah she's great she popularized that and multiple kids back. she was a tra- she was, I, she, I almost feel bad for her because she like really missed like the boat by like a few yeah. years like, she was a titan yeah. She was yeah. a titan, dude. She was. She had music. She yeah, was in, yeah, sure. Like, yeah. I feel like if she did what she was doing, name a years song later. <laughs> uh, Bad Habit. Really? <laughs> yep. It's even it's worse like, for you. Her and Lauren Pashota had that breakup. Oh. Uh, so gross. Lauren Pesh- Oh my God. Glennie has this whole bang. Wait, what weapon. do you mean they had a breakup? It was her manager. They were, they were best friends and yeah. managers, and they had a friend breakup. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was, oh was no. Not about that. Best, Damn, dude. It was drama to follow, you know. Yeah, but I'm not a crazy about tan lines, honestly. Oh, I don't want to do some, but summer it, whites. I, I can't coin that term, but I don't want to say. <laughs> I don't want to say who did it because I'm not sure if he'll want me to say that. But summer whites, when a girl's all tan and then you know the bra, the shirt comes off, the summer whites because mm-hmm. she's got a tan line around her breasts. Summer whites, we get it. You invented that. I did not, but got the high beams on. <laughs> Climber. Yeah. Uh. Y- I, I gotta go girls in sundresses here like what I remember in college like that like the first hot day when all the girls would wear like you know you, their summer clothes it's like oh shit like, you see him churning butter on the farm yeah that's right yeah all, all the pilgr- <laughs> the how many how many village? old girls are gonna break out every <laughs> time I speak here fresh loincloth so on the only ones I got dude <laughs> what are you doing uh, I mean it was a long time ago but uh, no but it was it was the best right it's like the like one they of were the out gathering the berries <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm not crazy about sundresses. Me either. Oh, I like them a lot. I'm yeah. with you. They can't really see the boobs that well. Well, depending on the sundress. Yeah. Depending I'm picturing like... Look at the wrong sundresses, bro. Very loose fit. Picturing the wrong sundress. Yes, I think so. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, that was just the best. It was like the, one of the best days of the year. Like the first like hot day. It's like sundress. the girls break out oh. their summer clothes. It's like, all right, wow. Well, you know, you had, you know, especially in New Hampshire, it's winter for like nine months of the year. Mm-hmm. So the first like hot day is like, holy shit, what's going on here? Okay. This is really hard because it's definitely down to the three horny ones. Ah, bathing suits are really hit or miss. Some are awesome, uh, and then some are don't like. So uh, they're getting too small. Okay, game. am I right, boys? <laughs> <laughs> the no silence, no love on that, uh, and the crowd goes mild. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it classy. I'm gonna go sundress sun sundress day is incredible first day boobs out you got the shape going sundresses are our peak peak summer uh give me a sundress sundress glenny <sighs> this is hard man yeah it's really really hard yeah deep glenny bikinis There's no bad answer sundresses really. yeah that, that's true tan lines shorts don't forget about the shorts shorts are good <sighs> too how can i not go bikini that a boy 
I'm going to go tan line. Fuck. Whoa. <laughs> I love tan lines. I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm, just, I'm obsessed with tan lines. Tan lines. Tan lines. Uh, can you run through them all real quick? Tan lines, uh, going to the Jersey Shore and hooking up with six, seven women. Girls in bathing suits, shorts, or sundresses. Uh, Italian ices, being barefoot in the grass, the smell of sunblock, reading fantasy football magazines, or cool breezes on a hot day. Oh, smell of sunblock. Smell of sunblock. <laughs> yes, dude. Uh, put it on every day and in the summer, and it just... It's it's that's the marking of summer. It's not some sort of woman. It's sunblock. <laughs> it's it's you know, I, I do agree. I love the smell. Yeah, it was an immediate ad when I saw it. Tommy, guys, girls in bikinis. I mean, it's it's you get to see so much more. All of you guys are overcompensating <laughs> so much. You just get to see so much more than I'm. I'm with Rudy. Girls in bikinis. When you're a kid, it's uh, specifically it's more amazing because it's almost like you're just getting to see a girl in her underwear. Yeah, you know, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, when you're a kid, it's really the only way to see a woman that bare yeah. in person. Yeah. Um, Unless you were molested. <laughs> right. Basically, yes. Uh, Can okay. I just say real quick, I'm, sa- I'm sad Italian ice didn't get more love. It has no... Italian ice is, Italian ice is great. Italian ice is awesome. Oh, Aritas. They ain't boobies. Oh, the little yellow cup? Yeah. yeah. You got that crazy Rouse, stuff in the Rouse. bottom of it. That, that, that's like... I'm with Che on this one. They ain't titties. Yeah. Oh, it's really <laughs> also didn't summer. vote Italian ice. Yeah. I know, I know. I, just, I had to give Italian ice some love because it had no business being with the, with that group. I'm, I'm just I'm just giving Italian ice it a little... It should have had its own seat. It, it's yeah. my suggestion on there. We'll see. We'll, we'll it should have been the whole bracket. We uh, we know it's another good one this summer in, in the same realm as Italian ice. Do you remember in like in, in like middle or high school they'd give those little cups of ice cream with the wooden thing? I don't like the yeah. feeling on my teeth. Yes. The wooden thing, no. Yeah. There's a spoon, yes. The wooden that like the, the wooden, wooden thing stick, is the, like, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of the wooden stick. Oh, oh, I love the wooden spoon. The uh, wooden I, like little thing. I I'm agree with you. Like even thinking about like the the it. feeling of that up against any part of my mouth makes me like a little it, cringe. A little it bit. would be funny if we did a whole best part about bracket. Uh, best part about summer bracket it just came down to seeing a girl's boobs in a bikini or seeing a girl's ass in a bikini. <laughs> <laughs> just a tits <laughs> first ass to me. I think it's boobs. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. In a bikini for sure. Yes, uh, okay. So we're tied between bathing suits and sundresses. Like I said before, if I had to pick between the two, like there's something about the allure of a sundress because less is revealed and it makes you more interesting. Yeah, that's yes. what's worse yes. is that less is revealed. No, but like that's what it makes you, I don't know, the, the mystery of it. But it's also a surprise. Like at the beach, you expect to see yes. bathing suits. Where the, like the the sundress, especially if it happens out of nowhere, like whatever you know, June second. It's like the sundress day. You're like, oh shit! Mm-hmm. So, girl in the sundress versus the frozen drink. Oh, God. Oof. Tommy. Jesus. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is a final. This is this is like honestly maybe the final. I mean, look. If we want to just, you know, be horn boys, we go girl in bikini. But I mean, the thing is, like, oh, the girl, girl in the sundress bikini, is no bikini. Sometimes it's like, you know, like, it's just like, oh, God, look at that. Like, whereas you're, you, you, like, you're not taking advantage of it. You know, the frozen drink, I'm drinking, if that makes sense. Like, uh, so I'm taking the frozen That makes drink. sense. Yeah. It's a lot of sense. Yeah. Frozen drink, Nick? Sundress versus frozen drink? Yeah. Oh, it's sundress versus frozen drink? Definitely f- sundress. Oh, sorry. Definitely <laughs> frozen drink. I thought it was bikini. I would have hesitated. Oh. If it's, yeah, frozen drink. Yeah. <sighs> Give me frozen drink here. Frozen drink. I'm with you. Uh, Glenny? Sundress. Sundress. You're going to ask me twice. <laughs> <laughs> you are a noon guy, to be fair. Yeah, I'm not a frozen drink guy. And the sundress was, was in my top three horny. Ooh. Ten line sundress and bikini. So either one of those would actually be really good. Yeah. Speaking like, of which, I think I've seen those really good. Really good. Yeah, t- toss some over. Yeah, here. Can I get some? Let's get some. I'm getting excited some now. Honestly, this, was, this was great. It's a great summer drink. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's the best. I think they're one of the. And I feel bad for voting for frozen drink. Yeah. Here, I'll t- I'll toss them over. I'll take the original. I just said I hate drinking um, during the day, and I'm breaking my own. But Che, uh, frozen drink versus the girl in the sundress. This is really hard. Oh, I'm not. Yeah. Uh, the girl with the sundress is just the picture in my mind of when summer starts. Like, forget Memorial Day. That is when summer starts. But frozen drinks, anytime, really. Like, it. not only the first day of summer, this is, like, peak heat. This is, you know, uh, even on, like, a somewhat chilly day if you're with your boys. Uh, frozen drink, I think, is just the, it just signifies um, season. So, frozen drink. Frozen drink, Clemmer. Yeah, I mean, like Tommy said, like the uh, you know, I'm 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 married, forty three. If a pretty girl walks by, I did sundress, not say that. No, but no, <laughs> your your point to your point though, like all right, she walks by, all right, that's nice. But I'm actually enjoying the drink. I'm actually gonna 
partake in the drink. So I'm going to go with frozen drinks. Can drink, Rudy. Discuss it with all of you besides balls. I think me and balls are going to align heavily on this one mm. in general across the board. A frozen drink is nice, but a girl in a sundress is so exciting. You know what I mean? You see it, and then maybe you get a chance of the sun hitting it just right. You get to see the gate. You get to see everything. It's just like it's There's a so- subreddit for that. <laughs> really? Yeah. For women's gates? For the uh, the sun going through the dress and you see the outline. Yeah. You claim to oh. not be a horny guy. <laughs> you knew that yeah. subreddit off the I'm online. I'm, I'm, I'm an online guy. <laughs> I thought you meant like a, a literal reddit for like women's gates, like the between their steps. Oh, no, like, no, no. Or that definitely has to exist too. Probably. Frozen drinks, obviously great, but the sundress, it's exciting. You don't know what's coming. When you see one, it just gives you fully, fills you full of life. A frozen drink is a fo- frozen drink. Pina colada is fantastic, but they're a dime a dozen. Sundress is nothing but possibilities. If we're out at a bar and I'm ordering a round of pina coladas and there's a girl in the sundress, I'm going to get everybody one but you and you just have to look at the girl. Yeah. Fine. You're going to feel like shit. Let me tell you this. A pina <laughs> colada is never giving me a boner. I disagree. Oh, uh, yeah. Very <laughs> close. Yeah. yeah. I got to say, I'm very shocked at the love for the frozen drinks by everybody here. But yeah, frozen same. drink, guys. Uh, okay. On the other side of the bracket, first we have the number six seed, the sun being out later than like wherever the winter time is. Ooh. Yeah. <sighs> Going longer days, long ass right. summer. The sun just staying out, uh, and that's going up against the number eleven seed. This is one of Tommy's, which I really like. Um, having free Sundays to do whatever you want because there's no football. There's really not any other sports than like baseball running. Like so, it's just to give a nice full Sunday to do whatever the fuck you want to do. I know. I see Steven making that face. It's tough because I'm not saying I don't like football. Like obviously, when football's on, uh, but I like it so much that I know I'm going to spend twelve hours. Plus, watching. during the summer, you know you have football closer than it's ever going to be. Right, where it's like summer, it's like I could do whatever I want. Honestly, that's fair because at, at first sound, it sounded like you're an anti-football pussy. Mm. It sounded like it was an no, anti-football no, pussy. No. Oh, I, I'm saying like if there's football on NFP. a Sunday, I'm, be an I'm watching twelve hours of commercial-free football without sure. a doubt, and I, I will enjoy it. But it's like I have it's to nice to have that. the break, you know. Like I you need an off season, right? A free yeah. Sunday, I have the option True. to do whatever I want. I feel a little regret with baseball though. If I miss a baseball game, I'm like, ah, I missed the game. I have yeah, like 150 like, more. Yeah, that's yeah. I know, but I still I love baseball that much. Where I'm like, ah, I missed the game, or something cool happens. I'm like, fuck, I missed. So I do have that. But it's also like it's easier to like. I assume you're just watching the Mets. I'm just watching the Yankees. Like football, you want to be on top of every game, yeah, like, all day. Like, yeah, it's, no, it's a whole yeah. different. It's a whole different experience. Yeah. You're absolutely right. But like the. the Baseball plays during the day on Sundays. So it's like, oh, I like when like the Mets play Saturday night. I can still have a nice summer day. Yeah. And then I go home and watch the game. So it's, yeah. I didn't include this, and I probably should have, but like day games during the summer when you go to one, yeah. very good. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, Rudy, the sun being out later or having the free Sunday? Uh, for me, the sun being out later is one of the greatest things. I really, str- the older I get, the more and more I struggle with the winter and the sun going down. It drastically affects me. So the sun being out late is great. These actually kind of like weirdly tether. Like my favorite summer thing ever was Sunday. You like get a nice dinner going. The sun's still out. It's warm. And then Game of Thrones hits. Mm. Are you fucking kidding me? That is pinnacle summer for me. Uh, so it's got to be sun being out later. It's awesome. The late sun. It's the late sun, man. It's so good. Summer? Yeah, I love the sun being out so much. So I was in New Hampshire before I moved here. And, you know, it's a little bit north. And... The days here, because we're that much close to the equator, the days here are actually like 10 minutes longer, 20 minutes longer than New Hampshire. And even that in the winter is a great, it's a, it's beautiful. You get yeah. 15 more minutes of sunlight. I get, I'm like, Rudy, I get so depressed. It's February and the sun goes down to like 425 and you're like, fuck this. So longer days are everything. Plus, like I said, with baseball, I don't really feel like I, ha- I, I don't have that free Sunday. I still have a little bit of that, you know, I'm missing out. Two for, for the sun being out, Che. My oldest is a boy. He was, uh, his due date was October 12th, 2018. He was born October 15th. Late son. Oh, I got that. That was, it took me a second to get there, mm-hmm. but I like that one. Uh, Glenny. <laughs> um, so what Tommy said about the free Sunday, a lot of times during Sundays in the summer, I love obviously hanging out, drinking during that. But you know what I'm telling myself? It would be really cool if there was football on right now. So yeah. that's not for me. I'm going to go with the, uh, as much as I love the sun being out late, I think this is generated more from my disdain of the sun being gone early during the winter. Mm-hmm. And the polar opposite of that is the summer. So I'm definitely going sun out. The sun out till eight is just, just it will make you happy, man. When you're finished dinner and you look outside and the sun's still going, it's a good feeling. So it feels like you have more time, even though it's the same amount yeah, of time you have left. Time, but yeah. I just don't know, is it good or is just the sun setting so early shitty? Like in the, when, both. when you come into work at like, you know, if you come into work at nine and you leave at 
five and you don't see daylight. Yeah. Fucking nuts. Uh, I'll, go, I'll go the sun. I'll go the days longer. Sun, Tommy. Easy, sun. Seasonal depression. Real. You have it. <laughs> Shit, I don't know what that. It's very real. It, it, it's, no, she has like reverse seasonal yeah. depression. She's like depressed in the. She's just depressed. Let's not blame the summer for your depression. Uh, now we have the number three seed walking into a place with the AC blasting. I just said place because it could be a car, house, fucking convenience restaurant, store, movie, movie theater, theater store, whatever. Doesn't matter. Bed Bath and Beyond hotel. Yeah, you know, hotel AC is. Great. You know, has the keeps Bed Bath and Beyond's freezing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the AC in the Apple store because they pump like fresh oxygen in there or whatever. Yeah. Like a casino? Yeah, like literally it's it's insane. How nice casino is Casino AC is Have yeah. we ever done in Vegas? Oh, dog walk the draft. Best ACs. It's, casino I mean, AC though is a little bit misfiltered with cigarette smoke. So like that doesn't feel as good to me mm. as like any uh, Apple store AC or movie theater, if that makes sense. Am I sick for loving the, the casino smell? Oh, I do uh, Che's favorite smell is casino right. smell. So. so good. That carpet. Cigarettes, yep. soaked cigarettes. Yeah, into that carpet. Oh, uh, so the AC blasting versus the number fourteen seed. Just being able to wear shorts, which maybe won't apply to everyone here. I think I'm me and Paul is the only ones wearing shorts right now, even though we're like in the what mid. The high is like seventy one today. I think. Yeah, it wasn't really wasn't not. a hot day today. Yeah, I just like shorts. I don't know, Glenn, you too. What? You really like shorts? I really like shorts. Um, it's a question. <laughs> yeah, of course, I love shorts. Glenny rock shorts in December. Yeah. Usually, my like cutoff is I've told myself is like forty one degrees. Oh wow, <laughs> different than my cutoff. Mine's 85. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm a shorts guy. Yeah. I'm a I think big I've shorts. only seen your legs that one time when you wore them the other day. No, I mean, I wore them my first summer here. You guys, you know, yeah, when I was brand new. Me, I yeah. But like I, 85 degrees is when I wear shorts. I, I will say this winter, I recently did discover, shout out bird dogs, like good joggers. Great shorts. Yeah. And great pants. Good jog, Great. But like good joggers, they've made me even want to not wear shorts when it's cold out. So, Tommy, AC blasting versus shorts. AC blasting. Shorts are fine. Like, I wear, I wear shorts. I'm an average shorts wearer when most people are wearing them. I'm, I am. But, like, if I'm going out at night, probably in the summer, I'm probably still going to wear jeans. Just yeah. feels better. Um, yeah, I just have so many memories of a kid just, like, taking a shower on a Sunday night and then walking out into the blasting into the AC and like watching a Yankee Red Sox, Joe Morgan, John Miller announced game with my dad. I don't know why for some reason that's such a vivid memory. You're showering beforehand. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and afterwards, night shower. on the Yankees game. So almost done. Yeah, you got to get your shower. Up, up for the Yankee game. Red Sox Sunday night baseball. Yeah, I mean, just like that's why I, I am very team window unit instead of team central air. I just like sticking my face in front of an AC blasting. Mm. So I'm going AC. AC. I like it when you uh, are out in the heat and you make a pit stop at a convenience store and it's fucking freezing. You're grabbing a water. It's just it's a nice little escape. Um, if you were in there too long, it would probably be too cold. Um, and I'm not a shorts guy. Problematic tattoos on the thighs. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'll go. I'll go AC. AC, plenty. Yeah, I'm basically a year-round shorts guy. I mean, I, when I think of AC, I really think of one thing. In our old office, our old office was on 27th between 5th and Broadway. The walk to Penn Station every day. There was a great shop. Um, what the fuck was it called? It wasn't Michelin Ness. Oh, Cro- Crosby's. Cosby's short. Crosby's. Yes. Cosby's Cosby. sporting clothes. They used to be in the garden, and then they brought it out to 31st Street. Every single day in the summer, their AC would be fucking pumping and i walked by every day walk past yes and i would, okay, I would yeah. look forward to walking by it every day and that was my <laughs> little refresher before getting into penn station that was my walk to baruch that's yeah, i walked same, that way to yeah, baruch same and yeah and then but they had you could literally feel it on the street yeah it's the best air conditioning i've ever come across in my life i said that they've closed since then they're a new york staple yeah. but their air conditioning second to none i think about that that's a beautiful feeling mm-hmm. okay, so another for ac okay yeah i'm gonna go ac as well just it's if it's so cold and it's so hot out the juxtaposition is perfect for the body Mm-hmm. Clunder. Mm. AC is a wild invention. Like it's pretty new. Like like if we're a hundred years born, hundred years ago, well, only you spec were. Make in, your in jokes. The timeline of your life. Yeah. No, but like AC didn't exist. Like can you imagine summers without AC? It'd be horrible. Having Actually, you think AD is pretty new too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Having said all of that, I'm gonna go with shorts because I only wear shorts since '85 or hotter. So I know when I wear shorts, it's a hot day. It's kind of exciting. It's like all right, this is a hot day. Let's go. This is fun. It's summer. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hello. That's what I say. <laughs> I'm gonna clip that just to be the the, the ad for summer. Yeah. He's getting excited. It's like yeah. this is awesome. I, I'm How getting more summer pay you for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, that sound bite. That's fine. It's you, think about summer. summer. You got baseball. Summer, yeah. You know, taking vacations. You got the beach. Everything I love is not. I hate being cold. I'm so skinny. I hate being cold. I, I'm not cold. Everything summer is awesome. Why I've decided to live my entire life basically in the Northeast, I don't understand. But I have. That's. But I've done. It's how, stupid. How would you guys rank the summer months of of June, July, August? I would go June, July. I, I, I go in order. I say in order. Yeah. yeah because mm. Ju- I know July is probably the most classic summer month. August, the Sunday of summer, as they call it. But June, I think the excitement of like, yeah, it's the summer. It's here. Start. July though is the real summer. Like, June, I know. I. I, but I think like, I enjoy June more. I think because you have more summer ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you enjoy it. You appreciate it more. Yeah. Honestly, and I hate to say it. September's a summer month too. Yeah. It, it is. is. It's, it's not. Once football. It is. No. no it's it no, September's a summer month, man. I'm telling you. No, it's I not. not. It changes. It, it changes too. Like East Coast versus the further you go west it's a little different mm-hmm. you go to the beach on september 13th the water is warmer than it's ever going to be especially here in the northeast and still like 80, you'll have a summer 80s, day 90s, yeah it's, it's it's such it's such a great school thing. and football it's the fall yeah i know but like it's as soon as freaking school starts it's over yeah. man. freaking school man oh yeah for Hate tommy's it. potential I mean, is dates. no school no, no. <laughs> no school has to be oh, oh. that's a good one that was a good one yeah oh uh, good one Clemmer. Uh, is no school not on here well, we'll get there. Okay, okay. Uh, Rudy? Uh, I don't know what it is. The older I get, the less I like wearing shorts. I also just feel really self-conscious in shorts. I have huge, thunderous legs mm-hmm. from home. Oh, no. Fuck. Oh, I can relate. <laughs> yeah. Gigantic calves run in my family. Uh, this should be a positive, but it makes me Dude. feel weird. I don't like... I can never put together a fit in shorts. Sh- oh, my God. Yeah, made me want to fucking throw up. I got the yips with shorts, <laughs> so I, I don't love shorts, and the AC goes... I think the AC could go really far. I mean, it's such a good feeling when you walk in and just get blasted with that cold air. So you're too handsome for shorts. I don't think so. You're too muscular. Yeah, too muscular to wear shorts. Too muscular. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Cross eye bear. AC AC blasting is going to move on. Um, seven seed versus ten seed. Seven seed is seven seed boating. Boats in general could be lake, ocean, I don't, river. If you're like a fucking trader. Yeah, something. Um, and that's going up against number ten seat Summer Fridays. For those of you, not I'm not everyone here has worked corporate jobs, but Summer Fridays they Huge. were the best, mm-hmm. best, the best things in the goddamn world. So you afford them all year. You only get like nine or twelve of them, but they are precious. What is, is that? A shorter day? Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, lunch. I had those. It's usually, it bounce at like lunch. Yeah. But even then, like you pop in at nine to noon, nothing really gets done. You know, it's almost like a shut your brain off day. Yeah. And then you scoot out at noon. Oh, it's the Dude, best. That was so dumb. I used to combine mine and so that I would get a full Friday off instead. Oh, Instead dumb. Of eight, I would do four full Fridays off and then I would use them to like go out, go back home or whatever. So stupid. I actually don't think that's that stupid. No, but like that Friday, after, you're not doing anything yeah. those days anyway. Like yeah. I wake up a little bit early and go in and barely work for like four hours instead and then go home yeah, true. anyway. So, like, I don't know. Uh, so, boating versus summer Fridays. Rudy. Uh, I've never really had a corporate job, so I can't really relate to the summer friday i'd had internships but it wasn't really a th- a, that i wasn't in there long enough to really get the full feel of that you want to know some crazy shit though my middle school was so like you guys are kids should be having fun my middle school they've since got rid of this for good reason we had half days every friday every friday what every single wow. in the winter and stuff the whole year was half days That's every awesome. friday how did that work in terms of like your after the parents yeah. <laughs> or i was thinking like like you know, seventh period, you just never had. Just didn't, yeah. We just, just did four days a week. It was crazy, and so me and my friends would just go to the skate park. It was bliss. It was like the best. That's but awesome. then we didn't have school in the summer, so it was only towards the end of the year you really got that similar feeling. But it's fucking crazy. Like looking back, I don't know how that was allowed. Um, what was the other one? Boating. Boating. Yeah, for me, it's got to be boating. My dad is a huge fisherman, so I've always had a big. He's love. a lo- He's like five hundred pounds. His calves are crazy. Yeah. His calves are crazy. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. So I I love boating. Uh, growing up, we used to go to this lake in Colorado, like a high altitude lake, and it was this uh family like ranch that my friends owned. Um, and it we had a there was a pontoon boat, yeah. and you would do booze cruises on that. And the pontoon, it was just amazing. So I love boating. I love being on the water. So I'll go boating. Big boat guy, Clemmer. 
Boats are cool. I I never would want to own a boat. It looks like a lot of work. Shit ton of work. Yeah. It's so expensive. You know what they say, have is your friend's best boat. kind of boat exactly. is your friend's boat. Yeah, yeah they say uh, the best day of your life. Two best days of your life is when you buy your first boat and when you sell your boat. Exactly. Right? Yep. So, but I don't know. Boats. Boats are great. I've been up, so then I'm on somebody else's boat and then like I feel kind of trapped. Like if they go out for like six hours, I I don't know if I want to be out there that long. But I'm the guest, so I feel you know that's all that. They always try to put you on the end of a hook. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's like all these like pairs of animals. Uh, they use them. <laughs> The bob on the fishing line. Yeah. <laughs> it would be a bad bob. I wouldn't afford him. Too skinny. No, you'd be a good oh. buoy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd be all right. Why do you have two of every animal on this boat, man? It's really weird. <laughs> uh, I, uh, but Summer Fridays, like, for corporate culture, like I said, they are just so precious. You look forward to them all year long. You, if it, nothing's better than like walking out at like 1201 being like, all right, yeah. I'm done for the day. I didn't use a vacation day and I have the whole summer weekend to look forward to. Yeah. It is the greatest feeling. I got to go summer Fridays. Just looking at Shay, I feel like you're going the same way. Yeah, summer Fridays because that leads to all the day drinking, all the frozen drinks, all that stuff. And it's, you know, with your friends early. So that's, that's the tone. Summer Fridays is like stealing. Yep. Funny. Never had a corporate job, so no. But I'm easily going boating either way. I mean, I, I mean, my um, didn't grow up, didn't grow up going on boats at all. But my one of my best friends in the world now, he's a rich guy, has his grandpa's boat, and we go on and on. Not the Avaz, my best friend from home, and just uh, like you said, he doesn't drink. He just loves the cigars. Brings all of us on. We drink, have fun. Any other time I get on a boat, I'm always taking it. Drinking on a boat is absolutely delightful. I mean, the ladies love boats. Then you dock, you jump off, you hang out on the water, you drink. It's I'm, I'm a boat whore. Boat whore, Glennie. I'm a boat whore. Two to two, Nick. Worst thing about being on a boat is uh, the couple, the guy who's has driving the boat always gets into a fight with his girlfriend every <laughs> single time. That's fair. Every single time. When you're docking that boat, that destroys oh. relationships. Oh, my God. That dude. is very stressful. Um, summer Fridays are the fucking best. Your week's over. It's nice out. You're looking out the window. People have already started drinking, and, got, and you're a little jealous, but you're excited to go meet them out. Yeah, uh, yeah. You wear a crazy shirt to work. I want to say something to try to sway Nick, just because I think it's very specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was deep into Pokemon Go, okay, sure, 2016. Who wasn't? The best place to incubate eggs was a boat, because if you're bobbing in the water, it doesn't. Is- it thinks you're walking, so the tracking of it, you could incubate things. So fast. I don't think that's going to sway him for some reason. No, I think that's against the rules of the game. I think they want you to walk. It's a game built about walking. So, uh, I'm still moving. I'm on a boat. You're not walking. It's about exercise. So, no, absolutely not. That's swaying in the opposite direction. He's heard. Rudy doesn't know me at all. <laughs> no, uh, Tommy. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, also never had a corporate job, but not a really a big boat person. Um, I don't love, like, where do I go to the bathroom? Uh, Sometimes you get seasick, so I'm going to go with, uh, I'd imagine if I had a corporate job, I would really love Summer Fridays, so I'll go Summer Fridays. Summer Fridays. All right, last matchup. Uh, we have the number two seat. One we had already mentioned earlier, tipped it a little bit. No school. No school when you're a kid during the summer. Having time to hang out with your friends, obviously not actually having to go to, man, to class or whatever. Just the best versus number 15 seat. A lot of people on Twitter responded with this, and I, I agree with it. Just wiffle ball. I mean, you could sub in other sports, but wiffle ball is a summer sport. You know what I mean? Like every other sport you could play for like any time of the year. I'm not playing wiffle ball in like fucking April or something. You know what I mean? What like, brackets we have recently where wiffle ball was a, an entrant and like me and Clemmer were fighting to the death for it? I forget. I forget too. Yeah. Wiffle ball is fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I agree with you. So no school versus wiffle ball. Kind of a juggernaut. Uh, yeah. Tommy. This is a bloodbath. The greatest part of summer is no school. I mean, obviously, we can't appreciate it anymore, but the freedom as a kid of no school, the last day of school, knowing you have nothing, like, you'll never be as free as you are as a kid in the summer until retirement. Like, just no responsibilities. Like, I, obviously, most of us haven't had a free, like, we have jobs now. I haven't had a free summer with no job at all since, like, 2014, probably, or 2013, even. Mm -hmm. Like, just every day having nothing to do. For two months, three months. Other than have fun. That's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. And that's why I hated camp as a kid is because it was still like a responsibility. New school. Like it was something you had to do. It was like school for the summer. But just having nothing to do, staying up late whenever you want, waking up whatever you want, doing whatever you want. Incredible, incredible freedom. Um and the end, I used to get so depressed at the end of the summer. It was crazy. Yeah. Like late August, I'd be so sad going back to school. But yeah, it's no school. It's it's not even close. No school, Glenny? No school. 
Like it's, I, I'm with you. It's a kind of like a bloodbath. I mean, I'm voting for it. You also wouldn't be playing football if you were at school. It's true. Well, I don't, th- yeah, no, I never played football. ball. And I'm trying to think of the weirdest sport we played. Like recess, but no. Nah, no, like an actual gym. We did like kickball and like that probably be the oddest one. I, I, I had a taekwondo. Taekwondo in your in high school? It was my gym <laughs> oh, class. It was taekwondo. I had it in middle school. I'm a yellow belt. I hate it. Dude, me too. I got to yellow. You have to be. I don't know anything about it, but you had to be a yellow belt technically to graduate. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I had to do Taekwondo. I hated it because our instructor would make us like, if we did a punch and he was like correcting one kid, we had to hold that position like forever. It was fucking hell, dude. The only cool thing was when you got to snap the boards. Mm. I never got to do it. It was fun to watch or was fun to watch. Jay? School's out for summer. Gotta be that. It's gonna be school, but clever. I'm gonna go the other direction. So I'm going to, uh, what was the other one? Third. Uh, wiffle ball. Wiffle ball. Yeah, wiffle ball is great. The other thing too, I, I just want to take this perspective. You're right. When you're a kid, no school, it's awesome. When you're an adult and all the kids are out of school, it's kind of annoying. Like unless they're your own, kids kind of suck. So like I don't really want kids all around all the time. Yeah. It's just obnoxious. So I'm going to go with wiffle ball because I still love to play wiffle ball now. Mm-hmm. And I get annoyed now when I see a bunch of kids just running around for two and a half months. It's just annoying. Rudy. You're going to be yeah. a great father. Yeah. Well, I love my own kid, <laughs> but I I'm probably won't like his friends. <laughs> why, is it, why? How did you know that? I don't know because I don't like. Okay, like old people, right? I like. I love my nan. I love my grandparents, but I feel you still have grandparents. No, no, they're all dead. Oh, okay. I love my grandparents. <laughs> no, they're, they're all gone. God. Uh, but like, you know, I did. I love my grandparents' friends, and not really. They're just old people. Yeah, you'd be good to be. You you'd be good to play with wiffle ball. With but you'd see that. Right. I, I was very confused too. I was like, yeah, uh, I know, like, the I, math doesn't work here. You guys really. See, like you know, kids all around, it's just yeah. annoying. It's not I so guess bad. I'm just York. thinking of it as like the euphoria of, as when you are. I'm just taking yeah. an adult perspective on it. That's all. Okay. Yeah. It's going to lose anyway. So, you know, you guys are going to win. So. You would be fun to play wiffle ball with, though, because I'm awesome. If we didn't have a bat, we could just use you. That oh, would... no, no. We definitely keep score, too. Yeah. Really well. I would keep score. I keep yeah. great stats. Tommy would probably help with that, too. Yeah, I do love keeping score. Yeah. Uh, this should be no shocker. I School was fucking prison for me. Didn't excel whatsoever. Got molested. Uh, can't read. Can't read very good. <laughs> uh, so yeah, no. I mean, getting out of school was the greatest joy of life. Mm. Yeah. All right. So let's run through our as new no school wins. We'll run through our playoffs quick. Uh, Rudy, barbecue or the pool? It's gonna be a finals matchup. These uh, it's usually are tethered, but if I had to pick, the thing I like of the two is uh, barbecue. Barbecue? Yeah, Clemmer. I'm going to go with the barbecue as well. That smell, that food, fantastic. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm actually going to go to the pool. Pool. All right. Lenny? <sighs> like a Sophie's Choice for yeah, you. This is I love tough. these both so much, man. Um, I got to go pool. Got to go pool. We're tied up. You get to break it. Going barbecue. I th- pool, it's just like you got to be wet and you got to dry off. Like barbecue is just, it's just good vibes. It's just yeah. good vibes. Listen to some music. Pools get cold. We haven't talked about that enough. Pools get very cold. I get very cold. Or if you, you pool there, or if you have to poop and you're in the pool and you gotta mm-hmm. like try to dry off, but you can't quite dry off, yep. and then you gotta go to the you bathroom. Wet and butt like, on the toilet seat. Wet butt on the toilet seat. Do I put sandals on? Do I not put sandals yeah. on? Like, ugh, it's just. I shit more in the summer. I call them heat shits. Yeah, heat shits. That's what I call them. I shit more in the summer. Body's just like running overdrive. I don't know. I just get hot and I, I get. Think I you're kind of onto something there. Now that I think about it, yeah. I poop way better in the winter. I poop more. More regularly. Yeah, yeah they're just like better. With, yeah. And better poops overall. Summers, yeah. the poops just kind of, they. I don't know. They get Keep track, everyone. Heat, uh, uh, heat shits. It's a real thing. You're going to keep it in mind. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, I think you already voted, so <laughs> barbecue's going to win. Yeah. Uh, frozen drinks versus the summer weather. Tommy. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is another good finals <laughs> matchup. Um, summer's not summer without the weather. Mm. It's just not. The frozen drink doesn't hit as good without the weather. It's the weather. Point. I'm so out of these frozen drinks. Fuck these things. <laughs> Summer weather. Summer weather. Uh, yeah, it is really hard. I'm gonna go frozen drinks just because even like I don't know. I, I gotta stay loyal for. How many frozen drinks do you guys even have? <laughs> I, I feel like if I go out during the summer, I have right. one. They're also so expensive. That's true. Fuck these things. Summer weather. Uh, Clemmer. I don't know how weather loses. Weather is the great is the most important thing we've mentioned. Summer weather. Weather. Yeah, I mean, I like frozen drinks, but and the summer weather goes two ways. Like in the city, in the middle of summer, it's fucking awful. It smells like garbage. Yeah. But if you're in like a nice spot like Montauk or like a place where it's like nice summer weather, cooler, you got the beach, like Nantucket vibes. That that is just cra- it's amazing. There's nothing better. So I got to go weather. So to go into the finals, Rudy, weather versus barbecue. 
I'm going to go with weather, uh, barbecue. Weather, it just encapsulates everything is good. You know what I mean? Like it, it sort of is the overarching theme of the whole thing, whereas like a barbecue is a singular event, so I got to go with the beautiful weather. Weather, Clemmer? You don't think weather is important. Think about how rainy it is in April and how depressing that is. I like rain. I don't like rain. I like sun. I like summer weather. Weather, Jay? Yeah, weather. Uh, it's it's inevitable. Weather. It's already over. I'm going Q, though. Going to barbecue? Tommy? Uh, what? Yeah, I mean, imagine a rainy bar. I mean, I guess rain is part of summer weather, but it's weather. Summer's, summer is summer because of the weather. On the other side, Tommy, AC versus the sun being out later. Sun being out later. Sun being out later. I, I didn't know why. I feel like AC would have been an easy one. It is close, yeah. Funny. I mean, AC, though, is like, it's like it's almost like something you need to combat the summer, mm. if that makes sense. Whereas like yeah. just the sun being out late, just a good part. But it's not either or. Like I, I was thinking about it at first too. Like if you choose the sun being out later, you don't get AC. That's not the case. You still get both. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like, which one is greater? All right, Glenny. This is tough, man. I mean, it's obviously walking into a good air conditioning. That's, that's just such a snap feeling. Yeah. It's just a snap feeling. But if I could like recreate that over and over and over again. It's a better feeling. But I don't know. Finishing dinner and the sun's still being out. I got to go with that. Sun being out. Okay. Give me, give me a nice fan and uh, sun being out later. Sun being out later is going to win, but Clemmer? Yeah, sun being out later. You, you, seven o'clock, you still have an hour and a half of sunlight. It's the greatest feeling in the world. Sun, sun being out later. Three. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But sun being out later is like oh, another one of those overarching, consistent things you look forward to. AC is amazing, but that that is a... a part of summer that you can't take away the clean sweep for the sun being out later the next one rudy uh no school versus summer fridays I feel like oh my god no school move it on dude no yeah. school is no the school. greatest thing on earth no summer school. fridays kids are annoying oh summer fridays jay i think go summer fridays too because no school you get all of it at once in a huge block summer fridays is like you're not overindulging on the time off so it's like you just get it once a week that was that was tough rudy go pick yeah, that i just shit bricked up. that one so bad pick that shot I think I, I could. Probably, I would have to squeeze. You can do it. it. You can Is do it. it. Empty? I, have to I believe in you. I would have to. Let's see. You gotta go underhand. You gotta go under. No hell. You can go over. Hell no. Nah. You going over? Yeah. I'm usually pretty good at this, but. Let's see. Oh, uh, you a terrible you shot. Podcast right listeners. There. Terrible shot. It fucking rim, double rimmed. Then back rim. Then to the ground. That's not a terrible shot. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a good try. Great shot. Uh okay, so summer who was next? Sorry, I just lost total two track. one summer Fridays and Glenny's up. Yeah, Glenny. This is summer or There's no school. No school. No yeah, school. It's, it's I mean again, I guess me and Glenny, you know, we can't relate to the summer Fridays, but no school. It's summer Fridays to me, that's like you're that's like still the, working that's like half the JV the fuck, version of no school. Yeah, you're working half the day. Like no school. There's you got nothing. You got nothing ever. All right, so no school gonna move on and to go into the finals. No school versus the sun being out later. Tommy. What happened, Tommy? Fly over here. Um, sorry, what are we at? Uh, we have no school versus the sun being out later. So the semis? This is to go into the finals, yeah. This is a good final four. We got yeah, like a, a 2022 good. Blue, Bud, Blue Blood final yeah. four right here. Uh, no school. I mean, again, we can't relate to it now, so it's weird to vote on it now at 27 years old. But again, as a kid, no school in the summer. It's it's. Oh, you look to forward to it's all you look forward to. Mm -hmm. And it stays with you throughout life a little bit. Like that feeling. That's why summer, I think, is so good. It's because you think of childhood. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think about what the fuck I did during summer in high school. <laughs> I'm going to say I do love the sun being out later, man. No Stick. school. No school. No school. Jay? Sun being out later. Kind of like school. Yeah, sun being out. Sun, shocker from the guy wearing a hat. You know I'm going sun being out later too. Sun being out later. That's a good point. I didn't. I never like dreaded school. Sun being out later. You live, you, you know, money. 80 years. You know, school being out in the summer is good for like 12 of those years. You, the sun being out later is good for all 80. Sun being out later. Sun being out later, Rudy. This is really tough it's for already me. Already over. I mean, sun sun being out later has got three. It's after, already over. After that flip. Yeah. It's already over. Then I'll just give one to school. Just stay true. Yeah. No, you so, guys are crazy. No school. School. It's 12 years. It's, it. it's a small glimmer of your life, Tommy. So, Rudy, yes. sun, for the final, sun being out later versus the weather. Uh, the weather 
to me has some this bad is, this is the finals this is, the finals. This is good finals. the weather to me can have bad aspects but the sun being out later has no negatives in my opinion yeah and what i was going to say earlier about like the summer blockbuster movie there's no better feeling than going to see a summer blockbuster and you come outside and it's like dusk still yeah. and it's like 8 30 and you're like oh man dude like it's it's, it's kind of depressing when you come out and you go into a movie and it, it's sunlight and then you come out and it's just pitch black. It's like you yeah. lost the whole day or something. Or like dinner even. You know? Yeah, exactly. So no, I, the sun's staying out later for me. Sun's staying out later? Yeah, I've spoken of the heat shit. Sometimes it does get so hot you do have like the, the you know, underwear underwear kind of sticks to you. You just kind of, you know, it's just, it's, it can be, sometimes it can be too hot. <laughs> There's never a negative to the sun being out later. Okay, but would you rather year-round summer sunset. weather yeah. or year-round sunsets at 5 p.m. but it's summer weather? That's not the reality I live in. I would rather have the year-round summer, but that's not the reality that's that I live me, in. To me, though, a major that proves that the summer weather is better. I don't. I me, me, in your weird context, yes, but in the context of my life living here in New York City and like the 12 months of the year and how things work, the sun being out later is no negative to that. Mm. Where I said sometimes it can get too hot, too humid. Sun being out later, Che. For me, it came down to thinking about like, would I rather have in the winter the sun being out till later, or would I rather have the summer and the sun setting earlier at the summer weather? I'd rather have the summer weather with the sun setting earlier. So I got to go summer weather. Summer weather. Not if it set at five p.m. Then I mean, you like you you get great. sick of the summer. Like the whole point of summer being good is that you like limited cold. Time. Yeah. I I just I don't I don't think it has as much to do with it being out. Like laid out for an extra three hours as much as it does. Like man, it's like really well, nice. I can wear a t-shirt. More than just how it. people in Florida live. Like exactly, in the winter, that's California too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever. Their sun does yeah. go down early, people, but they people still got purposely beautiful want weather. to retire a place where yeah. it is yeah. like yeah. summer forever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's true. Funny. I mean, now that it's in the finals, you got to go summer weather. I mean, it's just the best. One, once you just said people move in different places, I'll I'll take a quote here from one of my favorite chefs in the country, Aaron May, on his episode of Diners, Drivers, and Dives. Yeah, oh, yeah. he's from Chicago. They asked him, a guy asked him, "Why'd you move to Chicago?" He said, "You don't got to shovel sun sunshine," mm. which is a great quote. You don't got to shovel sunshine when the sun's out. There's better vibes. You're in a better mood. I don't know if there's a scientific thing. I wish we could just do a science somehow experiment on this. When the sun is out, you're just happier. Well, that that's proven. Yeah, that's a fact. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. There, I'm sure it's been done. Actually, now that vitamin D thing. Vitamin D. Yeah. If you don't, don't even like think about it when you get up, but it's a cloudy day or a sunny day, you're just happier when the sun's out. So you Andrew go Huberman, uh, who me and KB are both disciples of, yes. preaches the importance of getting 15 minutes of sunlight, 30 minutes of sunlight oh. every morning. Andrew yeah. Huberman is yeah. a podcast. Yeah, it actually does help a lot. I've been doing it. Too. Oh, yeah, I mean, the sun is just the sun's phenomenal. So Tommy, you're tie breaking. Oh, it's the weather. It's the weather. Summer ain't summer without the weather. It, it like yeah, if the whole if the whole summer the sun went down at five, that would suck. But if it's still, I mean, whatever. Like it being dark out isn't the end of the world. If, I think that part of what makes being dark out feel so miserable in the winter is that you're walking home in thirty degree weather, thirty five, yes, forty degree weather. Like if you were walking home and it was seventy five, who fucking cares that it's dark out? Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, quite literally everything we just talked about is possible without the weather. summer weather. Yep. Yeah. And well, I mean, honestly, this is one of our toughest brackets, I think. I think we did a good job. I would say almost everything on that list is incredibly awesome. Yeah, well, this everything we talk about. This makes me, let's, let's make so a, excited. a bracket pack. Let's all enjoy ourselves this summer. Yeah, let's, let's have a good summer. Let's, we got 99 days. Let's go. Let's charter a Barstool fucking cruise. To yeah, we got, we're going to go to the water park, right? Oh, yeah. No, we already on last week. We are talking about a group splish splash trip. Splash trip? Oh, oh I like splish that. Splish splash now. I love You know what, you know what I want to do this summer? What? I love water parks. Right, we got a great one on Long Island. You know, what I, you know what I really want to do this summer, though, that I've been saying I'm going to do for the last four years and I have not done yet? I want to get on a boat around Manhattan. Oh, do one of the cruise cruises? The ferry. I've no. done that. They're... No, no, no. Not like a bigger one. Like my buddy's boat is in Massapequa oh. on Long Island. Oh, okay. I want to take it all the way out, like a two-hour trip one day, and like go around the East River and by the statue. I get a small boat. like fits like 10 if people. If it was in. just okay. us, that'd be... I want to do that. That would be sick. Yeah. And you do it. I mean, yeah. I you guess. could do that, yeah. yeah. It takes you probably... He said it probably takes you an hour and a half, two hours. To get there, but I that's that's my summer bucket list. Let me count us in. Yeah, we're that's all we're all going on your friend's boat, Glenn. Yeah. Well, I would love to have you guys. It would be great. <laughs> all right, so that's the end of episode eighty. We will be back next week with a new topic. Thank you, Rudy and Glenny, for joining in and talking about summer. We're pumped. I know I, I can't wait to just go outside and feel the sun. <laughs> right, see you guys later.